Welcome to the TradeMade suite of execution enhancements. This is well over a decade of tools I needed for myself as I sleep when the USA market is open and I have 24 hours by five and a half days trading with a reasonably high number of contracts traded. There's a lot to go wrong with execution, both human and technical errors, having cost me massive amounts of money over the decades. What you have here is the tools to avoid most of the execution errors and to get better fills. You no longer need to be stuck to your computer looking to check it's all okay. We will also cover the virtual machine setup used for my own trading. It's one millisecond away from TradeStation data servers with high-end and high-spec hardware and a premium data center. This is after hours when most systems are not actually trading, but here you can see Alertmon actually monitoring a few things that are still required at this time of evening. Here you can see some of the examples from my own trading of execution issues. One chart, and it was a one chart only, just said waiting for symbol attributes. And unless you, the human, went through every one of your charts to check for this every day, you're going to miss it. In this case, Alertmon just sent me alarms, and I knew immediately that there was a problem and even what chart it was on. Another relatively common error is data request failed, unable to access corporate actions data server. Again, this is going to cause you an execution issue, and unless you physically cite this error and correct it and close down the chart, you're never going to know. Alertmon massively reduces the need for any human monitoring of your trading setup. I just once a day look at it and make sure it's okay as a quick visual, but pretty much anything that can go wrong just about is going to be sending me an alarm should that happen. Alert one looks for heartbeats on your trade station or multi charts charts to stop, in which case an alarm is sent, which can be audio, email, and SMS alerts. It also has another mode called trigger where it looks for a specific event to send an alarm on, and we'll say more on that later. It also has external monitoring from a, another server that looks for alert mon or your entire VM to fail. And the settings here, you'd put your name there so I can identify what machine has failed. Other machine metrics are also monitored externally, for example, your CPU usage, how much RAM you have free, how much disk space you have free, your uptime. I had a user who had a virus on his computer and the CPU monitor flagged that this was an issue because the CPU was maxed out when it should have been absolutely minimal. So I'll show you how we add alert mon on your chart. I'm going to show a complex example which is now fully automated and nice and simple to do. If I just do add alert mon indicator and this indicator is using the object orientated code in TradeStation which is much more efficient. So I'll put Overnight ES. Now Overnight ES is unusual in that it trades 24 hours session time and it trades Monday to Friday and Sunday so quite a lot of complex sessions. It also has a market closed between 16.00 and 17.00. So we can just go to Alertmon, add a system, select Overnight ES, and it has automatically detected all your session times, including the Sunday, well as in the older versions of Alertmon, this had to be manually configured. Now what we have here is a countdown timer that's set for 660 seconds in this case because we want to allow for one bar potentially to fail. For example, after hours, the market might be very thinly traded. But if that countdown gets to zero, then we're going to start sending alarms. So we would put your email address here. You've got your mobile number or numbers here. And you might want to put a comment saying, uh, overnight chart has failed. 
So we want to be doing that for all the charts because any one chart can fail. And I certainly see this in practice plenty of times over the nearly 20 years that I've been trading with TradeStation. Another thing to go wrong with trading is strategy automation accidentally or due to human error or technical problems gets turned off and we have an alarm for that too but this will probably all be replaced shortly with our own execution engine deep down in TradeStation. So we turn on automation check mode and you should see a message saying automation confirmation is okay. If that's not the case then put more bars back on your chart or change the bars back to a lower value. This was on 500 which it doesn't need but uh, I've put it on 50 and that fixed this issue. GSB systems however this value has to be 500. So we then go to alert mon and instead of adding system we add trigger. And you can see how that's in the yellow as opposed to green. Instead of having a count down, we've got a count up. So should we have automation turned off or confirmation turned on, then you'll see in the print log a critical error with the name. And you go to alert mon and you'll see the time has changed to 7 o'clock, which is what the time is now. And that will have sent you an email and or SMS saying your automation is in a faulty state. And you'll see that in the logs automation error at 7 o'clock. We also want to update this and say automation C print log. That will be in your email and SMS notification. Another alert mon feature is a live graph over time of your CPU and RAM. You need high CPU availability for trading and your CPU usage should be low to maximize speed in trading. Most traders are entering at the end of a 15 or 30 minute bar and the slower you are to execute your trade, the worse a fill you get, particularly on semi-liquid markets. There is a user input of the time window so you can view CPU usage for the specific time of day you trade. Custom CPU and RAM alerts can be set under AlertMon settings. I love TradeStation, but one of the numerous weaknesses is there are no alarms if you're out of sync with your live brokerage account. One day I had a $4,000 per contract trade fail to execute and there were no visible signs of any issues. AlertMon can monitor your live versus theoretical position and give you email, audio and SMS alerts if you're out of sync, multiple symbols, accounts and the same symbol traded on multiple charts even if the positions are in different directions is supported. It's not always possible and very time consuming to monitor a machine all day. And AlertMon has got this monitoring completely automated. You can see here AlertMon position match is nicely monitoring what's happening in the trade station, but has the advantage here of audio alert, emails, and SMSs. Here we can see that we're long and short at the same time, and AlertMon also can handle that situation. Another issue is marked on close orders can fail. Also marked on close orders cannot be done on some markets. For example stocks at 15.00 central time the market is actually closed when you send an order through. The same on the DAX at 2200 German time. A marked on close failure in TradeStation is not that uncommon and can be extremely costly due to large overnight moves. Slippage also at that time can be horrific as the market's extremely volatile exactly on the close and most traders are going to get out at the same instant within a second. You can see this by the volume spikes on the chart. You can see in this day at market on close time 
is 6.75 points between the high and the low over 2 minutes. The solution I propose improves fills, reliability and liquidity. We can have up to 4 exit times where we get out at a limit order with an improved price relative to the instantaneous price. With a timed market order to within a second of your desired exit time, should these four exit times fail to fill. You can see that we've got 30 ticks better price, 15 ticks, 7 and then 4 ticks, and then a 60 second delay where if the fourth order isn't filled, we simply go to market. You as a user, of course, can configure the times and amount of ticks involved in these settings. Intrabar order generation is not needed. No reprogramming of your strategy is needed. There is one significant limitation. All contracts on the symbol you choose to exit will be closed. So you can't mix day trading and long-term trading on the same symbol and the same account. The workaround is to have your day trading on one symbol in one account and your overnight systems in another account. You can see at time 20.54.05 our first limit price of improvement on 30 ticks to the current close has hit. If we're not filled on this exit, then the next exit of 15 ticks improved price will be active. And if we're not filled on this, we'll then go to 7 ticks better price. And then finally, we'll go for 4 ticks better price. In practice, I'm actually using 2, but anyway, that's fine. And then if that 2 ticks better price doesn't fill, and there's a very good chance that it will because it's so close to the market, we will then leave that limit order active for 60 seconds, which again is a user choice. And we will go to market at the end of that 60 seconds if all the previous orders have not filled. So overall this has given you better liquidity and on average a better exit price, but the actual exit price improvement will vary greatly from one day to another. For exact details of how the AlertMon match is set up on each chart, go to Documentation and then AlertMon and then Match. But as I said, this is likely to be updated and completely rewritten with the replacement to TradeStation strategy automation. The next video should cover this and a lot of the really nice refinements on AlertMon that aren't obvious just when you play with the interface. Hopefully we'll have a video two out in the next month or so. If you want AlertMon now, the current offering is it's free with the TradeMade virtual machine and contact us if you're interested in it outside of that service as it may be released later on. Thanks for watching. Happy trading.